Hello and welcome to video number five. We're going to talk about magazines and what kind of images inspire your audience. Now, the reason why we're going to be using magazines is because this form of content marketing uses a lot of images and magazines are a great resource of figuring out what actually works. Now, if you think about it, magazines, a lot of them are run by big companies. Yes, some of them are run by smaller companies, but for the most part, magazines typically invest millions into finding what works and what doesn't. So let's go ahead and give you some examples. Okay, so finding magazines are actually very easy to do. All you have to do is simply go to google.com, type in the keyword, and then space magazines. So in this case, we're gonna stick with knitting. So we got knitting magazines. And as you can see, there are all sorts of knitting magazines here. Now what we're trying to look for here are patterns, similar things. So we can see the age group of these, which is actually very interesting to me because I would think people who are interested in knitting may be older, but this actually shows me that I am wrong. So what we wanna do here is we want to go to these pages and just open these up like this. And let's just take a look at a few. Okay, so now that I've opened up these magazines in different windows, you'll notice one thing in common. They will tell you about the magazine, they'll give you some reviews, but it won't really allow you to look inside of the magazine. Now the reason why I open these up is because what we do is we dig deeper. So knit simple magazine, what I do is right click, click on search Google for this. So we'll search Google for this. We'll scroll down until we find the website. So if we scroll down, we can see it is knits or knit simple mag.com. We're going to go to this page and here we are. So when we're at the actual website, they are going to show you even more images inside of the magazine. So that's kind of a hack and different way to dig a little bit deeper. So we can see that it's very colorful in terms of images. They use a lot of blues. I've noticed that with the Spruce website and then of course this one here. And what we're looking for is a pattern. So they use a lot of pinks, a lot of blues, a lot of yellows. And we can dig deeper like so. So what you wanna do is simply look through this and get a better idea of the different images, the different colors that stand out. All right, so I'm gonna close this down. I'm going to go to the next one. This one is Interweave Knits Magazine. I'm gonna do, do the same exact thing. We're gonna right click, do a search on Google, and see if they have a website. And this one looks similar. So we're going to go over here. So it looks like they are covering a wide variety of different topics, but this one here gives us, gives us an idea of the coloring, the patterns, even the demographics. So we see this lady here, she looks like she can't really tell if she's at the beach or something. But you wanna look at the backgrounds and get an idea of, okay, this looks like a garden. Let's use a garden graphic. 
and all that. So location is key. Demographic is key. And colors are key. So what you want to do here is just simply go through magazines. Like I said, jot down colors, jot down patterns that stand out. And once we have that information, we can move on to the next step.